Hey everybody, I'm going to show you how I got this little car set up for doing up to a three-way and singles. As you can see, I got uh, my tow bar on there so I can pull. Got my saddles, just two. One saddle head here so we can tow on the ground, but I've also got some saddles up here. Got so much weight in the back, I had to put some in the front. Uh, you can see I used all the space on the roof. Up here I've got um, the wires for the lights and other adapters. On the other side, like it is all the hoses for the brakes and uh, transfer pump and siphon and hose on the other side. Got some gas, some crib blocks, of course. This is like uh, attachments for the expanding universal hitch and my light bar up there. All right, so if you look inside here, you'll see during the daytime, I got to pull my stuff out and put like my uh, briefcase and this heater thing up on the front. And then this will all turn into a bed. So if you can see here, I've got the clean section there that's my clothes bag that's my wife's clothes and stuff over here on this side uh, these two boards just kind of spread open and have the whole thing be a bed surface here i've got my work coat and bibs and rain gear and my wife's bibs and stuff you can see i got the wood blocks the ratchet straps for putting the uh, tires on the deck this is a little lifting strap for doing that in there I've got an axle drain pan that fits in that bucket so it keeps it clean. I can put it inside here, you know, because I've got to live with all this dirty stuff. Got rubber protectors and stuff. Well, let's go around here and I'll show you what's going on over there. Well, this is a little fridge here. I can put some lunch meat and things like that in there. And of course I got plenty of junk here. And this is a ice jug. I'll fill that up and fill my drinks full of ice all day pretty much. Um, down here, you can see the back of it. Over here I've got um, my tools set up just pretty much a little bit of everything even got a small impact and some drill bits a couple saws so i can cut metal or wood if i have to a little bit of everything got my cage bolts on the side here this is that expanding universal hitch and a drop down piece for it and this is the regular tool bag i've got basically set up just like i did when i was flying in on loads except for a little extra weight two impacts a bunch of batteries got a um, electrical kit this is one of those uh, folding light bar things you know everything's in there I can just pick a few things out and still fly in on those loads get it down to 49 pounds gloves on this side uh, I got one of these cool little things off Timu that holds your your zip ties that's axle, axle covers there I had them in there and uh, this whole thing will just kind of slide over like that and usually I'll take these mattresses back here and stack them up on one side put the pillows and stuff on top during the day I can get to all this and not get anything greasy. I just raise this up. I usually just hook this bungee strap down there like that. It'll hold it up so I can work back here and not get stuff greasy. Here's my other saddle head on some wood blocks. I've got a sledgehammer, pry bars, big uh, breaker bar for getting the wheels off, uh, some gloves and stuff. This is like uh, adapters for the, the brakes. This is bo bolts and washers and things like that. Step stool, use that all the time. And uh, some protective stuff for the chains when I'm hauling newer trucks. Two sets of J bolts or U bolts that are long enough for the Volvo. Down in there, you can see I've got my J bolts. I've actually got those curved tip ones so I can put them right on the square axles, uh, even though it's kind of sketchy. Here's two sets of axle chains. This is uh, uh, two uh, chains that I use to chain down the fifth wheel. So they get all greasy. This ain't too greasy right now. But these two binders are for that. And then there's a third chain up on the bumper wrapped around. I'll use this with it to do a safety chain on that adapter, that hitch, universal hitch. And then here's two uh, safety chains. So kind of all the greasy stuff's in there. And uh, very basic, but it's like everything I need just to haul a three-way. And here's the, here's the long hitch piece that goes on that adapter. If you can see back here, I've actually got this on a z-bar but that's a drop down so if i'm up too high i can flip it upside down and put my car behind the truck and get the the angle right you know so yeah this all just kind of goes like that put that under there and i pretty well turn the whole thing into a bed put my head up here on this end and we got our two-person sleeping bag and put this heater in the front this one a heater i'll probably show this in another video it's one of those things i copied off of youtube everybody's doing a little diesel Bosco heater and stuff. All this is what I just took out. If I got to haul four trucks, I'll have that. But if I got to do that, I'm taking my decking trailer anyway. So, yeah, just a quick run through. 
You can see I got kind of the windows covered. And I think I showed the kitchen and all that stuff in a different video, but um, that's about as compact as I can get it for everything from singles to a three-way. So, all right. See ya.